Lake Mead in South Cove has a variety of fish out there. We have largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, we have crappie, we have bluegill, we have channel cats, we have what is called yellow cats, we have carp, we have gizzard shad, and we have threadfin shad, which are the base fish for Lake Mead. I tied that rope up there, and I said I did, when the water was up there. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of fish under us right now because this is the spot they come to feed on the shad at night. The preferred bait for stripers on Lake Mead are anchovies. But one of the biggest mistakes uh, anglers make is they hook the entire anchovy on one hook. And that doesn't work out very well because the stripers come up and they grab one end of the bait and they never get the hook in their mouth and then they just pull the anchovy right off the hook. So the trick is to cut the anchovies into thirds and hook them each so that when they take a bite full they're gonna get a hook in their mouth. The other trick is to bring your bait frozen. Hopefully you can get dry ice but that's kind of hard to get up here and meet me. So I found this little freezer 12 volt freezer I'm gonna buy one and I'm gonna try it out and keep my bait frozen so that it'll stay on the hook what we used was just the regular old six inch liter snelled hooks that you buy at Walmart some uh, 3 16 ounce bullet weights and a swivel and here's how they go together the other thing this nifty little headlight here that you can strap on your forehead and it's LED and it's rechargeable and the really neat feature is that it has a motion detector so if you just wave your hand by the side of it it turns it on and the same thing for turning it off and the other thing to attract the fish is a green LED submersible light that attracts minnows and then the shad are attracted to the minnows and then the larger bait fish are attracted to the shad and then the really large fish are down about 30 feet. Look at this, another Lake Mead 
slab right there. Now I'm left-handed, so you guys are right-handed. This is going to be backwards, but here's how you do it. You want to make a 45-degree cut with your electric knife until you feel the spine. When you feel the spine, you just rotate your blade and follow that spine all the way down. But you don't cut through this. You leave it on because it makes it easier. So then you come right up there. Can I play it against the skin? Follow it out. Look at that. Now that. And then Eric's going to take those ribs out right there, and that's a solid piece of fillet with no bone. 